and our moimo is ready. See how soft and moist that is. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Ifis Food Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make moi moi. So moi moi is a very popular dish in Nigeria. Um, it's something that's versatile. You can eat with rice, drink with gari, or eat on its own. It's something that I love to eat, but it's not on my channel. I, gotta, I said, oh, I have to do this for my channel. So that's why I'm doing this today. So stay with me guys, and let's go through this journey together. Ingredients I'm going to be using for this recipe is first peeled beans. So I bought it like this. You can buy this in the shop already peeled. It's been soaking now for about two hours. So it's soft because when you buy it, it's a bit dry. So you have to soak it. So it's been soaking for two hours. So that's the beans. I'm also going to be using three bonyo cubes. This is chicken stock cubes. I'm using red sweet bell pepper. One chopped white onion. Two habanero pepper or scotch bonnet as it's popularly called. Three quarters of a cup of Vegetable oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Some warm water that I'm going to be using for the blending. I also have crayfish. So I'm going to be using some of crayfish. Then I'm also going to be using four eggs. So I already had boiled them. They had boiled. Then last but not least, corned beef. So for this moi moi, I'm going to be putting corned beef and boiled eggs and also salt. I'm going to be putting a bit of salt to taste and that's it. So let's do this guy. In front of you is my blender. So I'm going to put some beans in. I don't want to fill it too much because I'm going to blend it is very smooth because the last thing you want when you're doing more eating more more is to have it grainy and not smooth so that's the beans so i'm going to add one habanero pepper to this and i'm also going to be adding half of my sweet red bell pepper I'm going to cut it into small pieces to make it easy for my blender to blend it. So this will be for the other rest of the beans. And then I'm also going to add some of the onions, half of the onions into this. Now we are ready to blend this, the first part of the beans. So I'm adding some warm water. I normally use warm water for my moimo. So I want it to be really smooth. So I'm adding enough water so that the blender does not struggle. You know when it makes that noise. That grrr, I don't want to hear that today. So I want it to be really smooth. So I'm going to start blending now. So I'll be back when it's blended. So that is the first batch blended. See how smooth it is. I blended it like three or four times. So it's really smooth. So I'm going to blend the other bit. So 
I'm putting three boil cubes. And because I am putting three boil cubes, that's why I'm not putting that much salt because boil cubes or any seasoning cubes, um, stock cubes, they have salt in it as well. So you don't want to put too much salt. So I'm going to pound that. And there you have it, guys. So I'm going to put that in. Give that a very good mix. Next, I'm going to do is add crayfish. I'm adding two spoons of crayfish. It just gives that extra something, something. The Next, I'm going to do is add the three quarters of a cup of oil. So this is sunflower oil. So I'm going to add that in. And the reason why we add oil in is so that it should be moist. It will not be hard. So the last thing you want to do is eat more and more that is hard. Like, like rocks. You don't want that. You want something soft. So let me taste for salt now. Mm. That looks a bit... That, that looks all right. I think it still needs a bit more salt. There's no salt. I just put a bit more shakes. And that's it. So this seasoning salt is something that I discovered, guys. I don't know. I'm sure you'll be able to see it in any of these stores. You know, it's really good. I just discovered it a few weeks ago when my friend introduced it. It's all purple seasoning salt. It's got everything in it. So instead of just putting salt, you can just put this. So that is it. So we are now ready to build our moi moi now. One secret ingredient that I'm going to add is tomato puree. Yes, you heard me, tomato puree. But I'm not going to add too much. I just want to make it red, a bit red. So, so instead of adding water, I'm just going to take some of the mixture of the beans and just mix it in so it has something to bind it to so i'm just going to mix that in to bind it in so something to mix with i just didn't want to put the tomato puree in on its own so i just added it so this is like a binder binder Now that it's fine, I can then add it in to the main thing. So now I'm going to mix it all together. Mix the salt. The salt is fine. The seasoning is fine. Everything is fine. So now I'm going to break my eggs. I boil the eggs for exactly 10 minutes and then when, I, when it was boiled I put it in a bowl of cold water so the skin can come up easily the eggs are peeled so I'm just going to cut them instead of I'm going to cut them into half one into two because I'm making it moi moi today so half is going to go into one so which is why i'm cutting it into half i'm cutting each into half into two and i think this one has my name on it <laughs> so that's done next thing i'm going to do is the corn beef because i'm using corn beef for this recipe i'm going to open this okay so that's it so i'm putting that in here i'm using the whole can of corn so i'm just gonna mash it up 
so this com this momo is going to be very rich it's going to have a bit of corn beef and a bit of eggs so we're going to start building this moi moi now so these are the containers that i'm going to be using so this is i'm going to so it doesn't stick i don't want it to stick i want the moment to, to release so i'm using oil to line the, 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 the container very well i don't want to uh, So I'm going to fill it, but not fully to the top. So I want to give it room to cook. So then I'm going to put some corn beef. I'm just gonna scatter it all around. Then I'm going to put one egg face down. And that's one done. So as I did with the other one, I'm going to put one egg. And that's it, guys. And I'll continue doing this till it's done. So I forgot to show you guys how I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it. Fall face down with the leaves. And I'm gonna press it in. Make sure I press everything in so there's no leakages into the into the pot when I'm steaming it. So I'm gonna be steaming this in the pot on the fire. I'm gonna be cooking it till it's firm and a toothpick inserted comes out clean. So I will do the second one so you guys can see what we're doing. So I'm pressing it down properly so there's no leakages at all. We don't want any leakages at all at all. So that's it. So I'm going to continue doing this till it's done. See guys, I was only able to make six. You know, I thought it was going to make at least eight, but it wasn't. So six, so that is the six. And that's the water boiling. So what I'm going to do now, make sure that there's still water, because you don't want the water to dry up. So I'm going to put the moi moi in now, on top of the foil. Put another foil on top so it can trap all the steam so everything i don't want any steam to be lost so i'm going to cover that now and that's going to cook for about i'll keep checking maybe in the next 30 40 minutes i'll check to see how it what it looks like and i'll keep checking for the i'm i'm cooking on medium to low heat i don't want the fire too high this is the moment of truth guys And as you can see, it's firm, but it still has that jiggle that you want. So we're going to take it out. This is why I oiled it. don't want it to stick. So fingers crossed. Let's hope. It's like trying to bring a cake. Yay! And our moi moi is ready. So that's the moi moi. You have the egg and the corn beef in it. So I'm going to do a taste test. So you guys can see. See how soft and moist that is mm. 
honestly, that is my, 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 my of life. See how hot and steamy, even though it's just come out. See, see the jiggle, and it's not too soft, not too washy. That's why I added the oil. See. Guys, honestly, I'm not even lying. This is so good. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. I'm saying it because it's true. It's so rich. It's got corned beef, eggs, everything. And it's well seasoned. Not too much salt. Not too much spicy. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.